So let's talk about period pain or dysmenorrhea. Now there are two types, there is primary and there is secondary. Now primary is perfectly normal, it's caused by a contraction of the uterus, so it helps through the lining about every 28 days. It can also be a decrease in blood flow to the area at this time that increases the pain that you experience. Now everybody's symptoms are different, but in general there is a pain in the lower abdomen or stomach that spreads through to the lower back and to the upper legs. There's obviously also headaches associated with it, migraines, nausea, vomiting, uh, constipation and or diarrhea. The symptoms are normally worse in the first 24 hours. As well as you can get things like breast tenderness before your period starts, that can carry on obviously through, and there can be a bloating in the lower stomach and abdomen area as well. So one of the main culprits, prostaglandins are our cause for most of our problems. Um, obviously we've got things to treat it like Ponstan and Naprogesic, as well as Nurofen. Now these guys are a bit more specific to period pain. Uh, they reduce the amount of prostaglandins pretty quickly. You can obviously use these guys 24 hours before your period starts to help reduce the pain and the severity of it all together. Some people will find urethrin is enough though. Again, everybody's different. Whatever works for you is the best. Panadol is a different family altogether, so it can be used in combination with these guys if you're going to get more relief using it that way. Again, there is three treatments I can't speak about, but talk to your pharmacist if you find these guys aren't quite enough. Now, as I was saying, there is also secondary dysmenorrhea. Now, this is a lot more serious. You need to be talking to your doctor about this. If you get frequent painful periods, you really should be speaking to your doctor just to rule out things like endometriosis and fibroids, which are secondary dysmenorrhea. But in general, you should be able to talk to your pharmacist about something to help with your period pain. Uh, other things you can do, obviously, is get plenty of bed rest. A hot water bottle or a wheat bag in the area can be very helpful. Um, that helps increase the blood flow to the area to reduce the pain that you're experiencing. Obviously, regular exercise, drinking plenty of water, and the oral contraceptive pill can be helpful as well to control your periods.